Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie with Prairie Paper Crafts. I'm going to be sharing with you today how I resized my SVG files to work with the project. I had someone request that I share a video how I do this, so glad to do that for you. I am using a file from Cuddly Cute Designs today called Garden Bees. This will work with any file that you have. This is how I resize basically all my files. Totally Cute Designs is a little bit different uh, in that they have an assembled file that you can use. I, I had already uh, ungrouped mine, so let me just come back a moment and share with you. When I bring the assembled SVG file in, or the assembled file from Totally Cute Designs, and I don't know, let me see if I can come up with that here real quick. Um, uh, let's see, Garden Bees, I'll show you here. Here it is, Garden Bees Assembled, okay? That's what I imported, and that will give me the whole set together. This only, as far as I know, only works with Cuddly Cute Designs. I have not seen it with other files. So, you can then resize this whole file, okay? Uh, you can work with it. It's just easier for me to work with. I'm going to work with this one, and then, and I'll show you as I just kind of a, disassemble a little bit. I'll try to also bring in uh, like a Kadoodle Bug designs because I know they have the background and stuff, just to give you an idea. But what I'm working with today is this, uh, get this out of here. This gable box, okay? And let me see. I'm going to use this particular file. I have already ungrouped this file, okay? So this was, goodness, let me make it just a little smaller. This was all grouped together when I brought it in. I hit ungroup, first of all. So now I have this piece, I have this piece. And I have this set together. If I want the dirt underneath of my B here, all I have to do is just ungroup this again. And I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to put it back there because I do want it behind that. Okay, I want that B sitting on something. And I'm going to regroup this one to keep things kind of together. And I'm going to group that one so everything is together. I'm going to work with this. I want this to go on here. It's not as big of a deal as it looks like, trust me. All I'm going to do is come down here and just resize the whole thing. Put it on the front to get it the size that I want it. That's about the size I want it, actually. Okay. Now, let's say I'm going to put this guy on a card. I'm going to bring in my card size. I often work with a uh, four and a half wide. Let's get back here. Four and a half wide by six and a quarter inch size card. Now, this I want to do a little bit of changes to. I want to move this over a little bit. So it's just a little bit more narrow. Okay, so I moved it over. I'm going to regroup it again. I'm just going to resize it, put it on the front, and size it down to whatever size I want it. Basically, that's what I do. If I'm working with a layout, for example, let me just bring in a 12-inch square. Let me get that out of the way. And let's go get in there, 12 by 12. Okay, and I'm going to make my screen a little smaller. And I'm going to make this piece white. It's easier to see. I'm going to bring in an image. Uh, let's see, an uploaded image of some sort. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Let's use something that's not sized already or not grouped. Okay. Um, 
looking for something that I have that's not grouped. I'm going to pull out the Cuddly Cute Designs piece. Give you an idea how it works. Okay, so that was... Get rid of that too. Oh. Okay, let's get rid of this piece also. So here's my Cuddly Cute Designs piece that I'm working on. I'm going to first ungroup this, okay? Because I have a background piece that I can work with for sizing. I would put that where I want on my page. Do not resize the background piece as of yet, okay? It's very important that you don't. Then I'm going to put in some shapes that will be for my photo mats. And we'll just go by four by six. You know, probably not what I was wanting. You should pay attention. We'll put that there and we will duplicate it. I'm just pulling out random ideas of where I might want to file. Let's do this instead. Let's go seven by five. Okay. And we're going to rotate this. To, we're going to just put this as zero. We're going to have this in the middle. But let's say we want this larger, okay? We don't want it that small. Let's come back, regroup all our pieces so they size appropriately, okay? And then I just kind of guess here what I want. I think that's pretty good. It, again, this is just how I do my things. I just put it on and now because I had previously grouped these pieces, they'll all stay the same size when I cut them and they'll all match. This will fit in here exactly. The hat will fit. It's just very important if you have a background piece that you, when you do resize it, that you put it back together and have it grouped. Okay. Another one you can work with. Um, let's leave these here. Let's make this uh, four by four. I don't know if that will work for me. No, let's just Bring in a new one at four by four. Let's do a shape. Okay. I don't like black on my pages. We're just going to change this to something a little different. We're going to have another one of these. Whoops, not that one. I wanted another one of those. And we're going to do that here. Okay. So if you know what size photo mats you're using, great. And if it's a layout, put all the photo mats on first. Borders and stuff I don't think are quite so, I don't do that. I just, I do often though put my photo mat sizes in. And then I'm going to bring in something from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs. Let's see, what do I have here that's... See, I would bring in all my pieces for this. I'm just trying to find something. Well, let's go with this. Oops. I'm going to upload that one. And this is your big deal. Uh, add to canvas and add to canvas. I'll never get used to that. That's new to me. I'm sorry. That's just weird. Okay. I'm going to bring this down. So with the title, again, all I'm going to do, I've got my background piece, ungroup it, bring it in, put it where I want it, way too big. So, and I know that, but I'm just going to resize it, okay? And I'm going to ungroup it. Well, I don't know why it didn't group. I guess I just had it selected those pieces and did it all together, but. We'll just go with that as the title, okay? Uh, let's move these around. And then I have my pickles. What I, depending upon how involved my pieces are, sometimes I'll actually, don't group it first, I'll actually start putting my pieces together because I want to know the full height or the full width of them. In this case, it's pretty easy because they're pretty close together. For our, the sizes are not going to change a whole lot, okay? But 
I'm just going to group these so I don't get them all off. Basically what I do is the same thing. I'll take this, figure out where I want it on my page. Okay, and the same with this. I'm going to figure out approximately where I want it. Okay. Now, and I know those are way too big, so I'm coming back down, put these back here. I need to select all of these, and I'm going to group it this time to make sure it's done. So when I go like this and drag it, they're all going to size together. So when I cut the pieces, they're all going to fit. I need to ungroup it again. And just come back up here and decide where I want them and... Are they going to be a better size? If you already know approximately how large you want your embellishment pieces, your paper pieces, you could just come down and another way to do it is bring in your calculator. Let's say I know that I want my pickles to be at four inches tall. Okay, uh, I'm just going to, uh, I think it's going to be faster to actually bring in a new piece to show you here. Let's get rid of that. And I'll show you how I figured that out. I don't know if it's coming in. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Okay. So let's say I want these pickles to be at about four inches. So I'm going to ungroup it. Right now, the height of it is at 7.059. Okay. So I come in. I want them at four inches. So I'm going to take four, divide by the height, 7.059. And so that's not just over half. So I'm going to regroup this. I grouped it. Okay. And like I keep this, uh, this uh, fraction or decimal number in my calculator. I don't know why. We have some extremely bad wind, and I think that's not helping matters here with the, my, calcul or my calculator. Sorry about that. But anyway, okay, so I've got my dill pickle SVG file. It's grouped. It's still all together. I want to pick up the height of that entire file, 11.983. I'm going to take this number times 11.983. That's my new height of what I want this to be, 6.790. Make sure that your lock button feature is on. Click on that. Now, when I ungroup this, height is four inches. This one is a little bit taller than this one was, so that's why it's different. So uh, if you need to, you could redo the same thing and take the taller one of the two. Keep in mind, one's going to have a hat, going to add a little bit. So you might want to put the hat on and do that. But that's how I resize things. Um, a lot of it's just using the calculator, doing this, kind of laying my photo mats out, and then putting my pieces in. Uh, not real scientific, anything about it. It's, a, it's what works for me. That's all I can say. If this was clear as mud, I'm sorry. Uh, if you have any questions, though, do leave a comment. I can show you more in detail if you need. I just wanted to just show this with you and share it because I know some people had some questions and so I thought I'd get on and do this while I'm working on my other project. But otherwise, I want to thank you all for joining or joining me today, watching. Um, if you like the video, please consider uh, leaving a comment or liking it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And as always, if you have questions about other things, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. But take care. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.